Genova! Just let us pass and you'll be spared! Yo, what's going on guys? Hope you guys are having a good day, good night, or good afternoon, whatever time you guys are watching this video, man. Hopefully all is good. Hopefully you're healthy. Hopefully everything is well, man. In today's video, we're actually going to be going over how to set up Xbox or any other controller to play Escape from Tarkov. I use an Xbox One Elite. Uh, you can use any controller you want, whether it goes from like Wii Remotes to PlayStation to Nintendo 64. You can literally use whatever you want. Uh, however, for this video, I will be using an Xbox One Elite. Uh, this is the only controller I own. I've owned it for about three years or so, or whenever the white Gen 1 Elites came out, uh, I bought this one brand new back then. I'm not really too sure how old it is, but it's got a lot of stick drift and it is very poor now. Definitely need a new one, but it works for Tarkov. So let's get into that, man. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you guys are not already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Also hit that bell if you guys don't want to miss notifications as to when a video does go live, man. But without further ado, let's get into it. So to get started, we got our camera view down here where my hands are it's, it'll show the controller itself and on the main screen we got steam you guys are going to be using steam big picture mode in order to launch the controls or launch tarkov in a way that it can handle controller support tarkov does not use aim assist it does not have any sort of controller support i just want to make that very clear at the beginning there is no aim assist and it will be a little funky at the beginning so if you guys can get past that and you guys really want to try this out and have fun with it please by all means go for it for starters we're gonna go down here to add game after that you're gonna click add a non steve game then you're gonna go to browse and then you're gonna go find where your launcher is uh, downloaded after you guys find that click the bsg launcher the application make sure it is the launcher not the actual game itself make sure you click open after that it should add to your library so here it is bsg launcher play uh, but don't click play on this we're gonna go up here to uh, big picture mode after we go to big picture mode you can plug your controller in and it should work like normal you can use your controller or your mouse and keyboard to navigate through this i prefer the mouse simply because it is natural you guys are going to go to library and you're going to find where it's from tarkov is mine is in the recent so it's pretty easy we're going to do that after that you're going to go to manage shortcut controller options after you guys get to controller options you're going to make sure these first two are selected steam input per game are as forced on and then your vibration i turn it off if you want it on go for it but i don't see a point in having it on after that click okay then you're going to go to controller configuration now this is where it gets pretty interesting because you can set all of this up yourself or you can go to browse configs and select your own there's a lot of presets for tarkov uh, it all takes a little bit of different learning i don't know if you'll even be able to find mine i'm not even too sure but you can definitely select other controllers as well or hide them either way mine is actually right here tarkov xbox captain case i use this guy's preset i modified it myself though it says up here tarkov xbox based on captain case configuration so this is the rundown as to basically what it is we're gonna actually hop into the game now i'm gonna show you guys how to launch it and then after we get the game launched i will then show you what everything does and what my binds are so after you guys get to your library click here you guys always want to launch it through big picture mode after you launch it through big picture mode the launcher will load up after it loads up you're going to go ahead and click play and after you click play you're good to go that is it you'll notice it said down there at the bottom right that you can access the steam overlay all you got to do is click like the xbox button right here if you look at the camera for the controller view i don't ever use this but if you want it's there right and obviously you can navigate through your stash through your inventory through your trader view oh you can do all of that if you want you're more than welcome to but i don't suggest it because it is uh well look at this it's it's bad okay it's just not good so uh we're actually going to use my mouse and keyboard out of raid until we get into raid and then we will go over my keybinds and we're going to be going over a lot of stuff pretty much after you guys are here if you guys do want to make adjustments to your keybinds all you guys have to do is click alt tab click steam then go to manage shortcut controller configuration you're back to where you were you're back to your keybind stuff like that uh for starters we're going to start off with the movement right here it shows you that the left stick is WASD 
shifty and uh, left shift is sprint, which is uh, clicking down on the joystick itself. Next up is the D pad. You scroll up to check your chamber. And for my heels, I'm gonna show you guys, this is a pretty cool thing, a regular press. So just one press on it is I'm hitting the number four on my keyboard, which it will be my Salua. A double press, meaning I'm clicking the D pad left twice is number five, which is in my painkiller. And then clicking it and holding it is number six, which is my hemostat. So that is my keybinds four, five, and six all on one button. And that covers my heels. It's very simple, very cool, very straightforward. Right here, the accessory on off switch. This will be uh, your attack device, your laser or flashlight. You click it once, turns it on or off. You click it long. Like you click and hold it, it'll then switch what device is on. I think I have lasers, uh, so I won't be able to demonstrate that, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You just click it and hold it and it switches its device. So if I was to click here and hold it, you see how I clicked, but nothing changed. It would then be turning on the flashlight if I had one, uh, but right clicking just turns it on and off. And then I'm not injured, so I cannot use my slow or hemostat, but I can show you guys by clicking twice left, it'll pop the stem, which is my painkiller. Go back into here, my left trigger and right trigger. Right trigger is shoot, left trigger is ADS. My left bumper is middle mouse button, also known as free look. And my RB is a grenade. I'm not sure if I have grenades. I do, I have one, which is perfect. So you click RB, pulls out a grenade, and then you just right click to throw it and then obviously switch weapons to put it up like normal your left is left trigger is ads and also this menu may show up for you if it does all you guys have to do is click out click into here click out again and you're good the menu is gone no more menu so left trigger is ads right trigger is shoot that's pretty much the basic controls to how to really run around look around stuff like that your x is reload your B is your interact. So we're gonna go up here to, to something that I can interact with. That's my search, very straightforward. I like it a lot. Your Y would be switch weapons. It would be from two or three though. It would be switching between what's on your back and your primary gun. It will not pull your pistol whatsoever. If you look right here, it says Y is primary and secondary swap. There is no pistol swap. Your X is reload. Like I said, your B is interact. Also, like I said, A is obviously to jump. All these are very similar to Call of Duty. And then you get to right here, this will show your extracts and your time. A regular press is tab, which is your inventory. A long press is your O, so which would show your time or your extracts. My extracts is actually double O, which I think is default, so it doesn't show mine. I just reach over, I touch double O on my keyboard, show me my extracts. Nine times out of ten, I don't need to know unless I'm waiting on time or something like that. But this is pretty much all of the standard keybinds that I use to get going. Like I said, the four, five, six, four, five, and six are my heels. Uh, scroll up is check chamber and scroll down is mag check. The chamber check, you don't really need too much. I mean, it's cool, I guess, right? But you don't really need it. And then holding down on the D-pad is a mag check. That one is pretty important. I uh, don't mind the stick drift. Like I said, controller is old. But other than that though, uh, this is pretty much straightforward. If I have a, uh, a malfunction, I use my keyboard. If I need to check my extracts, I use my keyboard. And that's kind of it, man. I think that's all I really use my keyboard for. Obviously, I have no button for VoIP, so I can't really use that. In the backpack menu, you have these arrows. You have the up arrow, left and right. I don't use the left and right whatsoever in my inventory. However, if you go to the game and you click the down arrow, it should be your delete key. It makes looting pretty easy. Obviously, your interaction is B, so make sure you guys click B. I click X because, uh, so I've not gotten used to that. But yeah, you click the right start button to go into your inventory, and you can click down on the D-pad for a delete. You can throw all these away if you want. But other than in your inventory, there's really nothing else you need to know. They have Y is in yes, B is in no, X is to examine, A is to select. Quick move is left alt, I guess. These would kind of play to your keybinds as well, so. So please keep that in mind whenever you guys do do this. For instance, quick select is my left control. So I would hold the LB and click A and it would snap from another, like a dead person stuff or a containers from a container to my inventory. Like here, I'll open this up and I click LB and then A in my inventory. 
LBA in my inventory. That is how mine is set up. I use rotate pretty often. You can easily use LT or RT. Either one rotates. Just make sure you're holding the item. Uh, and this is all I use from the backpack menu. I don't really use anything else. Again, this is a video going over what I use, not what is best or anything like that. Uh, we're actually going to go back to the default and we're going to go over to the ADS view now. Now, these are only things that get done whenever you are ADS, meaning whenever you are holding lt you can do these actions so whenever you're holding lt and you click y it changes the magnification meaning if you have a voodoo you go from the 1x to the 6x if you hold lt and click y or you can also lean right or left those are the bumpers obviously right bumper is leaning right left bumper is leaning left while you are holding aim down sight i will demonstrate that now so you're gonna ads hold rt you lean right, hold LT, you lean left. I know this is a very weird way to do it with my thumb, but it's just convenient at the moment. And then change your scope. Like I said, just hold LT and click Y. It does it for you. Uh, obviously, I have a hollow, so it doesn't show much. I'm going to hop back into the keybinds here. If you want to hold your breath, you just click down. This is one of the ones that I actually uh, modified. My click action is uh, hold breath, which is my left alt. So uh, regular press is hold breath, and uh, I'll demonstrate that once we get back into the game we ads we click the button uh the left joystick we click it in the breath gets held super simple super easy i don't do night raids so I, I did not use night vision i'm not really too sure if night vision is going to work but yeah whenever you're ads you go up and down on the d-pad to change your zeroing sit here hold your breath scroll up look at the bottom right the zeroing is changing scroll down it's going down up is up down is down pretty simple next up we have is precision which i don't know what the heck that does and then alternate controls which again i don't know what that does i don't use any of these and you can also add layers if you want my main three that i use are default backpack ads that is it these are my controls these are what i think is best setting up a controller for tarkov like i said we are missing some if i forget what i am missing i apologize but i know right off the bat i'm missing malfunctions or inspecting a weapon fixing a malfunction and then my extracts and i believe that is it if you guys made it this far into the video man i greatly appreciate you guys for hanging out man if you guys are gonna try it please let me know your thoughts let me know what you guys did different as to what i did for your controller setup let me know what controller you guys used what felt better what felt more comfortable another thing i should add is scuff controllers or elites using your paddles see i have four paddles i can connect they do nothing for you they do not add more binds they do not do anything like that in tarkov or in general the way the scuffs and elites work at least to my knowledge is they replace buttons that are already on the controller so let's say you click uh, this top one it says p1 i put a bumper on that it's now going to take place of one of these so i bind it to a so i can jump with this now right it does not give you extra buttons to press or to bind to so please keep that in mind i don't want anybody going out buying an elite or a scuff saying oh i'm gonna play tarkov on a controller i'm gonna be the best that is not how it works and again there is is no aim assist a lot of people ask there's no such thing as aim assist in tarkov this game is not controller supported whatsoever it is by far the worst game to play on controller you guys should really know that but it is fun it is something different and it is an experience and i highly suggest somebody that is bored or not really having fun at the moment to definitely give it a try it is very fun so again if you guys made it this far into the video i greatly appreciate it man let me know what you guys think down in the comments let me know what controllers you guys use let me know what different keybinds you guys use it would be greatly appreciated but i will see you guys next time man hopefully you guys have a good day peace